Hello once again, everyone, and welcome to Kruzik Sanctuary. I'm your host, Kruzik X, alongside me, Nelly Niam and Arya Stormborn. Hey! And we are working our way through Eden. In the last episode, we restored both wind and fire to the empty and brought about the rain. Um, unfortunately, Gaia, Gaia's little fairy friend just happened to show up in some way. But anyway, let's not waste any more time and speak to Thancred for the next quest, the level 80 quest, Heart of Darkness. While this downpour is precisely the result we were hoping for, the novelty of standing outside in the rain does wear off rather quickly. Not to mention Gaia's looking a bit under the weather. Let's continue this conversation in Eden's core. And e and into Eden's core we go. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Ere we set forth to restore the element of ice. I would discuss the matter in which the summoning shall be undertaken. Just tell me one thing. Is this going to bring the empty back to the way it was before the flood? While none can say for certain, the change we have observed at points of ethereal intersection doth give us cause for optimism. It may be reasonably assumed that the empty shall continue to transform, and in the decades and in the decades to come, Regain a semblance of its former state. Decades? I don't think you've quite grasped the sheer scale of the damage left in the wake of the Flood. It would have swallowed the entire world if Minfilia hadn't stopped it. Even if Reen has inherited her blessing, words like that, wounds like that don't heal overnight. After all, the Empty has been utterly devoid of life for a hundred years. And it might take even longer than that to bring life back. I don't expect immediate results, but I do know that it will stay like this forever unless we do something about it. My sentiments precisely. Only once the final element is restored shall we have a glimpse of the future that awaiteth those of generations yet to come. You do all this for a world you may not live long enough to see? Well, here I am, so absorbed in my own problems, that I spare barely a thought for anyone besides myself. For so long I've listened to that voice, telling me what to do, who to be. I was so scared of what might happen if I disobeyed. But I don't want to live like that anymore. I want to be... me. Who am I? What am I? Perhaps it's better if I never find out. If Reen's the Oracle of Light, here to mend this broken world, what does that make me? Gaia, the Oracle of Darkness, bringer of misery and death, a monster. It's no wonder they left me. Father, mother... And next, it'll be all of you. Then I'll be back to where I started. Where I've always been. Alone. <coughs> and here we go again. Gaia! Is it the fairy? What's wrong? Afraid I might lose control and ruin all your carefully laid plans? No! It's you I'm worried about! Green, I... I'm going outside to clear my head. You... Just do what you need to do, all right? Something's wrong. I know it. That much is clear. 
If we have a repeat of her first visit to Eden, we may even be joined by those void sent friends of hers. If you go and see what Guy is doing, Orianger and I will stay with Reen. So much to do. Mm. My name is Gaia. That's what you said, isn't it? Eden? The Flood? What does it all mean? No. It can't be. Is this what it's been waiting for all this time? Finally, you remember. Ah! What is this? Okay. The darkness that dwells within you, Gaia. The cursed spawn of light are drawn to it, like moths to a flame. Pathetic, mindless. Sin eaters? Now the time of awakening has come. Green sets of sin eaters. What's happened? Well, I could tell you, but you're not going to believe it. Don't try to fight them. Just bring Gaia back inside. Quickly now. You missed me, bitch. <laughs> well, this is certainly an interesting turn of events. What's going on? What's happened to her? That's a concern for later. First, we must deal with those Sin Eaters. Chris, if thou wouldst care to rep repel our assailants without, I would ask, I would task Thancred with standing guard within. I shall tend to Gaia, meanwhile. Eden's verse, Iconoclasm, now accessible. I'm not even bothering about my usual spiel. Click here for the next episode. <laughs>